Welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover another one of the important concept of data structure and that concept is traveling salesman problem. First of all, what we will do, we will understood this problem and we will see the time complexity of the problem. After that, how we will write the code of traveling salesman problem in Java. Okay. Now, let's talk about this problem. In this problem, we have one salesman and he has to travel multiple cities to sell his product. Okay. But to travel from one city to another city, it will take some cost. So, we have to find out a way where a salesman travel all the cities and sell his product and to travel from one city to another city, some cost will take and we have to figure it out the, the minimum cost a salesman will spend to travel from one place to another and that minimum cost will be our answer. Okay. So, for example, let's say we have a four city. I will say A, B, C and D. So, salesman either can travel from A to C or C to A. A to B or B to A, B to D or D to B or C to D or D to C or also he can travel from B to C to A to D. Okay. So, to travel from one city to another city and, and one city it will take some cost. For example, let's say if a salesman travel from A to B, it will take uh, 5 and B to A it will take 10. Sometimes what happens if we travel from A to B cost will be different and if we travel from B to A city the cost will be different. For example, let us say if you traveled A to B through train and B to A through an individual vehicle. So, definitely cost will be different right. So, similarly like that to travel from A to B will be different and the cost of B to A will be different. So, if I will take now take other cities cost for example, let us say B to C and C to B. So, B to C it will take 15 and C to B it will take 20. Similarly, C to D it will take 25 and D to C it will take 30. Travel from D to A it will take 35 and A to D it will take 40. Okay. Now, after that, A to C, it will take 45 and B to D, it will take 50. After that, C to A, it will take 55 and and d to b it will take 60 these are all the cost okay so to solve this problem what so to so to find the minimum cost what we have to do we have to go through the all the possible ways that means the salesman has to try in the all different cities in a different different way and find out the minimum cost that is the only way he can do so let's travel all the cities and find out what will be the minimum cost and in in this example what i will do i will take one city as a fixed city and i will travel the other cities according to that and similarly i'm going to do with the separate one so in this example i will make a as our initial city okay so let's say if a is our initial city 
then he has to travel in a three different city. Uh, he can travel from A, that will be B, C and D. And from B, he can travel in a two different possibilities, C and D. Similarly, with the C, that will be around B and D. And after reaching to A, come back to our initial position. That will be A. So, if I will make one city as a our as our initial city, then it makes six possible ways. Similarly, if I will make B as our initial city and C as our initial city, D as our initial city, this here also six possible ways it will generate, C also it will generate six possible ways and D also it will generate six possible ways. So, total number of ways it will be 4 into 6, 24 possible ways we have to travel to find out the minimum cost of this traveling salesman. So, so we will consider that there are so if we will consider if there are n number of cities so there will be so there will be n factorial ways so that means there are n factorial possible ways so time complexity of this problem will be order of n factorial now let's see how we are going to solve this problem to solve this problem we are going to use Hamiltonian cycle. A Hamiltonian cycle is a cycle that visits each vertex exactly once. For example, if we will say this is our initial point, then Hamiltonian cycle will cover all the possible vertex and come back to the initial point. So, to solve this problem, what we will do, we will make one city as fixed. Either we can make it as A as a fixed, B as a fixed, C as a fixed or D as a fixed. And we will make one city as fixed. And after that, we will travel all the possible ways. So, in this way, if we are using Hamiltonian cycle and we are going to fix one, one city as a fixed city that salesman has to travel from this city and he has to come back into this way. So, that means the possible ways will be six possible ways. And if we we'll try to solve the problem in the Hamiltonian way, then the runtime complexity of this problem will be n minus 1 factorial. Okay. So, order of n minus 1 factorial. So, if there are 4 cities, so 4 minus 1, 3, so 3 into 2, 6 possible ways. 6 possible ways we have to travel to find out the minimum cost of this problem okay so what am i going to do first of all i am going to solve this program in this editor and after that we will write the code of the whatever we have explained here in the eclipse okay so let's try to find out the minimum cost in this editor so what is the path of a to b a to b path is 5 b to c 15 c to b B to C after that C to D, C to D 25 and D to A 35. After that next, uh, B to D, B to D is 50, B to D is 50 and C to A, C to A is 55. Sorry, D to C, D to, D to C is 30. And C to A, 
C to A is 55. All right. Now after that, A to C. A to C is 45. C to B, 20. C to B is 20. 20. And B to D. B to D is 50. B to okay. D to B to D is 50. After that, D to A is 35. Next, C to D, 25. D to B, 60. And B to A, 10. Next, A to D, 40, 40, after that D to B, 60, B to C, 15, C to A, 55, D to C, 30, C to B, 20, B to A, 10, 10, okay, so we have written all the path, now let's calculate the, all the path, first path is A, B, C, D, A, The cost of A to B is 5. After that, B to C is 15. After that, C to D is 25. And and after that, D to A, 35. Okay, now let's see the next possible way. Next way is, is A to B C A. Now let's see the third one. Third one is Fourth one, the last one. Okay, now let's calculate all one by one.
here it will be 80 after that 5 plus 50 plus 30 plus 55 140 next one is 45 plus 20 plus 50 plus 35 after that 45 plus 25 plus 60 plus 10 after that 40 plus 60 plus 15 plus 55 okay and after that 40 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10 so if we calculate all the path then i found out that a b c d a is the shortest path or you can say that this is the path which will take minimum cost and that will be 80. So how we did that we found we fixed one city as fixed and we traveled all the initial city and we calculated all of them and after calculating all of them we found out the minimum path and sorry minimum cost path and that will be a b c d a okay now whatever we have written here that is the same thing i am going to replicate in the code first of all i am going to write the complete code of a traveling salesman problem code after that i am going to explain what i have done in the code okay so let's do that So the code we have written completely. Now let's understand. 
I have done all the things in a hard coded so that we don't have to enter from the user side for now. Okay. So there are four cities are there. So I have taken one, one variable city is equal to four. And after that, what we did to traveling from one place to another place, I have present the data in a representational manner. For example, this side A, B, C, D and from this section a b c d you can know that a to a if will travel that will be zero cost so it's zero again same thing b to b you will travel zero to zero zero only and if will travel c to c so again zero cost and d to d it will be zero so the complete data is presented in a matrix form if will whatever the data that we have written here if we'll try to present the data in a matrix form it will display like this okay now after that what we did we take one boolean variable in the boolean variable we did so that we will keep track what are the kinds of a which in which which city we traveled so here what i have done here i have done boolean visit city is zero equal to two so that what uh, we will make first city that will be a city we will fix that this is our initial city from this city we will start and from this city we are coming back to an end okay and the next here I've taken one cycle, one variable Hamiltonian cycle and here I have stored the maximum value of integer. Now, our codes start from here. We have passed, we have taken another method. Method is Hamiltonian cycle. So, method is find Hamiltonian cycle. And in this method, what we are doing, we are going to DFS, depth first search. We are traversing every single path of the node. We are calculating the cost. While traversing, we are calculating the cost, cost plus graph current position and we are traversing until and unless we will reach back to which position that in its first position a and when we reach to the first position then we are saving the data in the hamiltonian cycle and we have entered here math dot mean so that when we will return back when we will return back it will compare which one of the data is the minimum okay and after that in the same way again i am doing here visit city the whatever the condition i am making it as true that i have already visited i am making it as false why i am making it as a false so that if in a different way if i have to traverse in the same possible uh, the same node then it i can easily travel it won't stop me for example uh, if i will go back to the code here you can see that i am traveling b to c here right here I am, you can see that B to C I am traveling. Now same B to C, I am also traveling in a different way. Here if you will see that B to C. So it won't stop me in a different node to travel in that. For that reason only, I make it, again it be, make it as false. Okay. From here I am going to this path. And from this portion of the code that I have already explained, I am checking all the comparisons. I am taking until and unless I am here I am doing cost plus graph position and calculating whichever node I am going and I am calculating the data also, calculating the cost. And when I reach the position, I am saving the data in the Hamiltonian cycle. And after the completion of this code, this recursion completes, then I am returning Hamiltonian cycle and that Hamiltonian cycle variable will return the minimum cost of that data, minimum cost of that value. Okay. Now what will we do next? Now. I will just run the code to see that our code is working properly or not. Here our answer came as exactly. That means the code that we have written here is completely correct. What I will do, I will provide this code in the GitHub and the GitHub link I will give in the description section. Okay. Please play around with the code and you can pointer some debug and SOP to find out uh, in how we are going to traveling and how we are going to all of that. But the most important point is you have to know that DFS depth first search to traverse the complete tree. Okay. Without the complete tree, it will be a little bit difficult for you to communicate. So I will tell you the prerequisite at least learn a basic of DFS depth first search and Hamiltonian cycle. So these two points you need to consider to work in a traveling salesman problem and once you will cover these two topics depth first search and Hamiltonian cycle then traveling salesman problem will not be a very difficult task for you to write a code for this problem okay so with that this is the end of the video and again in the next video we are going to cover another one of the important topic of data structure so stay tuned and keep watching Ajahn channel thank you